Today, I will be speedrunning Minecraft. Yeah, you heard me. Well, I'm gonna try. No matter how long it takes, by the end of this episode, or the next, I will be fighting the Ender Dragon. Listen, I get it, I heard you. Lettuce, it's episode three and all you've done is build a house and a mine and you only have eight diamonds, what are you doing? All right, well, no one said that, but I'm saying that enough building, enough tomfoolery, the quicker I get all of this done and over with, the faster it'll be for me to stockpile supplies and do what I actually want to do. Build. Will I defeat the dragon? Or will the dragon defeat me? Alright, we are back. Another brand new day. Actually, the sun is going down, so let's be honest. Progress is moving very slow. We got no enchants. We still got poop iron tools. What is, what is this? This dude's about to die. So I'm going to make a new plan. I'll be able to build things a lot faster if I had, at the bare minimum, diamond tools. Enchanted diamond tools at that. So what do I got to do? Let's see. Make an anvil. This is important. So we're going to name him. Kevin. You and me, Kevin. We got a lot of things to get done. And we're going to make it happen. You ready? He's a little sleepy. He'll, he'll get to it. First thing I need to get started on is going to the nether. But I want to be extra prepared because again, well, this is hardcore. I keep forgetting that. At the bare minimum, I probably want to be prepared with fire resistance. If I can get some decent enchanted iron armor, that would be nice. And I don't know how I want to get that done right now because I have no leather and I am also only level 22, so enchanting will probably take the majority of my time. Unless I get it done through villagers. I think that's probably the best play for me, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going the villager option, I'm going to need to make a lot of lecterns. So I can either go exploring for a separate village that already has a library in it that I can take books from, or I go on a killing spree and murder a bunch of cows. We haven't really explored much, so I might go that option, and if that fails, then I'll do option two. And to be fair, I can also just do both at once. Yeah, so this was the downfall of this entire idea. With how long the entire villager process was, I should have just went back to an enchanting table or scrapped the idea entirely. I could fight the ender dragon further down the road. But I'm stubborn, and once I set myself on this goal, I had to see it until the very end. Exploring for villages, I ended up with a lot of nothing. But here's some clips of some of the stuff I found. Alright, let's see what's in the chest. Interesting. What the heck? Birch forest. Desert. Desert. No, that's not a desert. This is actually pretty, pretty nice. This looks pretty good. Nice! Alright, let's go say hi. Hi! There's no one in that one. Hi. Okay. Alright, no one in that one either. Yeah. This one's not mad at me. He likes me. What are you doing? Got anything in there? Ooh. There you go. Yeah. You're killing it. These villagers know how to have fun. You guys have any books? Any bookers in chat? Uh, this village might be a dud. This looks so nice. Hello? Hello? What? Oh wait, is that a village there? Oh no, that's just burning trees. Is it just me or are all the biomes a lot bigger? There's another village. Yeah, it doesn't look promising. Up here, like look at this. This is crazy. There's a goat. Yo, what's up? You gonna do it? You won't. <laughs> oh, he didn't like that. All right, sorry. He did not like the, the way I made my goat noise. That's funny. I like goats. B, what are you doing? He had pollen on his booty. They like the flowers. No way. 
All right. Well, that was a bust. Is that an igloo? Here I come. You know what's about to happen. It's just that easy. Yeah, you can you can kind of just uh kind of call me a uh, a Minecraft pro. <laughs> yeah. It's just that easy. Of another village. Holy poop, dude. My luck. My leg. I'm going to go ahead and guess there's no librarian. Yeah, it's not looking good, chief. Man. Holy poop. Got some bamboo. Heck yeah. There's a village. I think I've been to this village before. If I just keep running somewhere in that direction, I will be home. Okay, next step. I thought I had a lot more paper, but I need to make books. I planted some sugar cane, I think, somewhere. I don't think I planted any sugar cane. I am a fool. Who knew my downfall would have been sugar cane and not leather? What I'm trying to do is work up to three lecterns. That way I can go over to that village over there and convert three of them into librarians. The three that I'm looking for right now are protection four, unbreaking three, and maybe even sharpness four if I can. Our first diamond tools right here. Yeah, I like it. That zombie's trying to get to me. Oh, here he comes. Frickin' big dumb. Frick. Uh-oh. No way. No, that's insane. That has to be good luck. That means I'm going to defeat the Ender Dragon. I have newfound confidence now. My morale is at an all-time high. With my last diamonds, I made an enchanting table. Let's hope it was worth it. Kevin. Dude, Kevin, check this out. Check this out, Kevin. I got a trident. Yeah. Kevin thinks it's cool. I guess let's go. Oh, a looting three golden sword. I can use that for the blazes. Oh yeah, it's all coming together now. I'll take it. Quick charge. Respiration. Curse of Vanishing, you're crazy. Viciousy one. So this keeps going on for a while. Almost two hours to be exact. Two hours of pushing these guys out of the way, placing down a lectern, waiting for them to want a job, not wanting what they offered, breaking the lectern, and repeat. I passed up so many good enchants. A few efficiency fours, at least eight mendings. This is when it officially hit me that this was a terrible idea. But again, stubborn me is stubborn. Eventually I gave up on unbreaking entirely and settled on the first mediocre enchantments that I could get. All right, I've passed mending like four times now. And that's my second efficiency five. Mending for 12 emeralds? Fortune three? <laughs> you can literally hear the hopelessness in my voice. I thought it was kind of funny. I'm starting to think if this was a bad call. No way, okay, sharpness four. Okay, we got a sharpness four, we got a protection three. No! I'm an idiot! Why did I break it? Oh my god. Okay, we got Sharpness 4 back actually very quickly somehow. I'm not going to complain about it. Let's go ahead and just do the stick trade. Alright, I might say screw it on Unbreaking for now. It's definitely not my top priority. No way! We found a zombie spawner. Literally right above ground too. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back for a lot of this stuff later. Oh, one stick cheaper, huh? Now you got my attention. <laughs> I got more sticks. Hold on. Okay, luckily, I only need one of you. I'll go ahead and take one of your protections. Okay, so I have the sharpness four. I just need three more protection threes. This is going to take some time. You guys all right over there? Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. What? 47? This dude's starting to scam me. Alright, well, that's enough for one more protection book after all of that. Oh, jeez. Really starting to think I did not go about this the correct way. I thought this would have been the faster option, 
this is probably just as slow. Was going after the Ender Dragon this early the wrong move? Yeah, it probably was. All I really care about is getting good diamond tools. And yet, now I've set myself off on this seemingly impossible mission of defeating the Ender Dragon. Nice, I got two, I got two. That's enough for six slow falling potions. So I'm set on that. Now I can sleep. Sleeping will hopefully reset the villager trades so they can lower their prices and I can get more emeralds. It's me. I'm back. 64. Holy poop, dude. No. Well, actually, what am I doing? I should be just getting another Fletcher. I'm stupid. I'm actually dumb. I am a fool. A literal buffoon. Let's see, I already traded with all of you, didn't I? Dang. Any villagers left over? No one. Okay. So I actually already converted all of my villagers and I've traded with all of them, which is not good for me. That was a bad move on my part. I'm throwing this game. Alright, five head strats are about to come and play here. I forgot. I literally have a village right over there. So I can convert two of them to Fletchers. I might even do a Mason for a clay trade. I'm eating my merchandise. What am I doing? Get that out of my hot bar. Okay, they already have a Mason. That's awesome. Okay. The heck was all this Lapis Kahooty doing under here? That's actually tons of emeralds right there. Why did I not do the Mason before? Like, look, look at that. Stone? I can just give you stone? Why have I not been trading with this guy before? Now we're making some money. We are crushing it right now. We are absolutely killing it. I spent four hours waiting on one Fletcher when I could have came over here and did two Fletchers and a Mason. The Mason's OP. I'm stupid. I'm actually dumb. I'm a buffoon. A complete fool. Yeah, I'm taking this. He, he does not like me taking this. But I'm gonna do it. He likes his wheat. Here, have that flower. Dude, you're taking my wheat. Anyway, so things are finally moving in the right direction here. After a lot less time, I finally got all of the emeralds I needed for the rest of the books. I instantly regretted doing any of this to be honest, not because I was getting super unlucky with everything or because I didn't have farm set up beforehand, even though those definitely added to it. It was mostly because I did another thing that took way longer to do than I thought it would, which in return made this video come out later than I wanted. I'm still trying to find that right balance between playing and editing time, and I hope you all bear with me while I figure that out. Which, can I talk about that too? I don't know what the heck happened, I don't even have 3 episodes out yet, and suddenly I have almost 400 subscribers. So I just wanted to take a second to say thank you to whoever decided to watch me for whatever reason. You guys are crazy. But anyway, yeah, after struggling for hours over days to achieve this one goal for one episode, I definitely wouldn't expect more like this. It was way too much to get done in a week for me, and I think I'm gonna stick to maybe doing a build or two per video, depending on its size and we'll see what happens there. All right, anyway, thanks again. I'll toss it back over to Old Lettuce. I need 12 more emeralds, and this clay is definitely enough. Yeah, the mason's the way to go. I don't know why I ever thought the Fletcher was the best. Now take all my clay. Brick. Wait, 60, 70, 78, 79. Oh, I definitely have enough. I have it enough. I did it. All right. Let's go get those last two books, and then I guess it's nether time. Yes, give me two more protection books. I should have done masons this whole time, I can't believe myself. It's a stick trade, I mean, you think, hey, that's pretty easy to get, but I guess you then factor in that you need 32 sticks for one emerald, which is... Which is... Four sticks... Carry the one, which is, it's a lot. All right, it's, it's a lot. All right, let's get that. Let's get the golden helmet. Oh, you have to combine it with this one so I get at least unbreaking one on it. But just put all this in this chest. It's time. Sharpness four. Protection three. There we go. Will that be much use? 
Probably not. It's protection three iron armor. And then I have a protection three golden helmet. What am I doing? Kevin, listen up. Kevin, it's time. Listen, we're going to go somewhere where I know you don't like. All right, just, no, Kevin, Kevin, you got to stop going in the fireplace. Let's talk out here. Listen to me, Kevin. It's going to be hot. There's going to be fire everywhere. I know. I know. Don't don't run away, Kevin. Kevin, you're going to be in this water bucket. Nothing's going to happen to you. We got to do it. Let's go, Kevin. B, what are you doing? Oh, that's the ocean. Don't go out there. You already got pollen on your booty. Oh, no, wait. There's your friends. Look over here. They don't have pollens on their booties. Oh, yeah, there. It's over there. Hey, where'd he, where'd he go? All right, he's, he's a little confused, but he's got the spirit. All right, let's prepare a little bit better before we go. Got 60 loaves of bread. I, I'm going to hope that's good enough. Uh, I'll bring some dirt for building. Let's bring one of these brewing stands. As soon as I get a blaze rod, I can make some fire resistance potions. Right? Is that how that works? How do you make fires? I'm going to bring the brewing stand just in case I don't get lucky with piglin trades. Oh, I need all the gold. Oh, I wanted... I actually want to make a golden apple just in case. I got plenty of torches. I got food. I got blocks. Portal. Kevin, I think it's time to go. It's going to get pretty hot in there, Kevin. And I'm not saying that because you're going to be there. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just build the portal over here. All right. Here we go.